This video is brought to you by Landerize.com. Create highly optimized landing pages in minutes. Get your 14-day free trial in the description below this video. What's fascinating about Zero Park is their intuitive user interface, which is easy to read. And what's more important is the status area. So we're going to go ahead and go through the list of campaign statuses in an effort to help you process your campaigns faster. That way you can have a better user experience and you have quicker access to reporting in the Zero Park platform. And all of your campaigns are gonna be subdivided into several categories in accordance to their activity status. So it helps to know what's going on. So as you can see, we have a mixture of paused and out of budget campaigns. So I cannot use the platform in order to demonstrate the majority of the important statuses that you need to learn. But we're gonna go over a presentation that I have created for you and we'll get that going now. Okay, so when you are experiencing campaign approval, you're gonna notice that your campaign, as you noticed for hours, it said pause. If we were running a campaign where we were buying traffic, it would be green for active. And it means that we're actually spending money even if the offer is expired. So we have to make sure that we're not sending traffic to any incorrect links. And you can always restore any deleted campaigns within 24 hours, which is good. I know that's a feature that you cannot do on some other campaigns once they're archived or deleted. So you have active, paused, or deleted based on the status of whether or not you're buying traffic. Now, if you are not able to meet the campaign guidelines, like for example, whenever you go through the campaign approval process that we discussed earlier, you may receive a campaign rejection status, which is okay. It just notifies you on what you need to do in order for your next steps in order to get your rejections modified. So make sure you refer to the campaign guidelines that we have discussed in order for you to minimize uh, the rejection statuses that you will receive. So that way, all you have to focus on is whether or not your campaign is paused or active. Now, budgeting statuses are gonna appear in red. So if there's ever a situation where your account balance has dropped to zero, or if your daily budget has, has dropped to zero, it's gonna be phrased two different ways. So it's gonna say out of credit, if it's gonna be about your account balance, and then it's gonna be out of budget if you have reached your budget cappings, whether it's your daily budget or your total budget that you have set for that campaign. Now, there are additional campaign statuses that are extremely important. Um, day parting. So there are going to be situations where you're going to be in a time zone that your campaign may not be running uh, because of it being a particular time of day that you have indicated in your settings that you do not want your ad to be displayed. So when your ad is paused or when your campaign is paused for that reason, you will have a day parting status. And then if you have archived your campaign, which means I'm pretty much deleting it um, and you're not using the campaign at all, that means that any targets, keywords, countries, and sources are gonna be removed and you'll be able to just access the reports. So if it's archived, that means that it has been deleted and that it has been rejected or it has been paused. Now, if it's active and you archive a campaign, that means, now if you have a car, an archive campaign that's active, that means that you just have not spent money within six months of creating that campaign. Now, the very last status is gonna be no campaign creatives that are active. So if you've submitted anything for a review by the compliance team and there are no ads to display, they're gonna let you know that. All right, next you need to know about your creative statuses. So when you upload your creatives, your campaign is either going to be under review by saying pending, or your, your creatives are gonna be active, paused, or deleted based on how you modify your campaign. Now, if it doesn't meet the qualifications, then you're still going to get rejected. And if it's for the reason of you not having creatives, then you're going to have that reason under the rejected status. So you're pretty much going through the campaign approval process, like pending is when you first submit the campaign, active pause and deleted is while you're running traffic, and whether or not you're done with the campaign and you're reporting, and then rejected is kind of 
at the first phase whenever you're trying to get up and running to begin with. So just keep an eye on your campaign statuses. They're going to be very useful for you at a glance um, and having them color coded with all of the other features on the user interface is going to be very uh, pleasing for you, I would say, and then also very simple to navigate around the platform. So enjoy.